Now on Coast TV News. Why bad cell service is raising concerns in Ocean Pines. Modernizing Milford Middle, the historic school building that's being restored. And a new mobile health unit for our community. What services will be provided? We have lingering coastal concerns, but there is a bit of good news on the horizon with about possible rain in the near future. I'll fill you in coming up. This is Coast TV News at 5. Ocean Pines police working hard to fix a constant issue in town. Good evening, I'm Christina D. Robertis in for Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. In an increasingly digital world, cell phone service is a big deal, but in Ocean Pines, that's a problem in some places. And while that can be annoying if you're trying to check social media or call a friend, it's dangerous if you need to get a hold of police. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappé is in the newsroom with details of a concerning problem. Ocean Pines police just want to do their job, but with little to no cell service, that can be a problem. We all use cell phones every day, but when that signal disappears, it's not just frustrating, it's a safety hazard. Ocean Pines Police Chief Tim Robinson has seen this firsthand. What I experienced and what others experienced were uh, drop calls, unable to get a signal, looking down on your phone, seeing either SOS only or no signal, even when you were outside at times. The Ocean Pines police are looking for ways to solve the problem. As of right now, the closest cell tower to Ocean Pines is off Route 90. And since the Verizon Tower is significantly smaller than the rest, Ocean Pines local David Tanner believes it's more of a Verizon issue. I'd say if people don't like the service they're getting, there's lots of other options to go with other companies, buy a new phone, stuff like that. There's ways around it. Although Verizon has yet to respond to Coast TV, the police department tells us they've talked to Worcester County officials and Verizon to try and find a solution. We're actually pursuing getting a new tower putting up here in Ocean Pines. We realize that cell phone coverage here in Ocean Pines is a concern and we're taking steps to see if we can try to fix it. From what locals have told Coast TV, the further away from the cell tower you get, the more trouble you may have. And the problem with that is, you don't get to pick where you are when you have an emergency that might require a phone call. The Ocean Pines Police hopes that by next year that the cell service will be improved. Back to you. This brings us right into our Coast TV poll. We want to know, how do you rate your cell service? Let's take a look at the results. Well, it looks like so far 41% saying good and then 37% saying poor. Some saying excellent, so that's nice, and 13% non-existent. Kind of a bell curve there. We're going to see if these numbers change at all as folks start to vote. You can do that at CoastTV.com or use the Coast TV mobile app. The Milford Middle School that sat empty for over a decade is now less than a year away from reopening. The middle school is being restored while the original historic structure of the building remains. The construction is expected to be complete in the summer of 2025 and then it would be ready to hold classes by August of 2025. The school will be about eight to 900 fifth and sixth graders and will help the overcrowding problem in other Milford schools. So we do have a plan for that, um, a redistricting plan for when that building opens that will help create space in all of our schools from kindergarten through grade eight, um, allowing us to plan ahead proactively for the future growth that we're seeing throughout our community. Another bonus is that the entire building is being done without tax raises for those in the school district. Let's take a live look into the Cambridge area as we get ready to check in with our first alert chief meteorologist, Paul Williams. And Paul, we've had decent temperatures, but it still looks gray out there. Yeah, but you know what? It's going to go from gray to yellow. Yeah, and we're not talking about a yellow alert day. We're talking about yellow as in sunshine. Yeah, things are going to start feeling and looking a whole lot better. We're still a little gloomy right now, though. Our Tyndall's casual furniture camera in Laurel highlighting the overcast conditions and 70 degrees. Now we'll go from 70 down to 65 as early as 8 o'clock with partly cloudy skies. Now the skies will start to clear for us. That's the pattern we're looking forward to. But despite what's happening in the upper atmosphere, we're still dealing with coastal flood advisories in Dorchester, Somerset, Wacomico, also in all of Sussex, including the coastal region where we're 
concerned about that. And this dips all the way down towards Accomat and Northampton, and that stays in effect until Thursday. And then we still have concerns for even a bit of beach erosion and some rip currents uh, up towards Ocean City. Now, we'll have more on your full forecast in a moment. Till then, back to you, Christina. Thank you. Today, President Biden and Vice President Harris toured the devastation caused by Hurricane Helene. The president was in North Carolina while the vice president assessed the damage on the ground in Georgia. NBC's Bree Jackson shows us how at the same time the administration is juggling how to address growing tensions overseas. Vice President Harris visiting Georgia, a key battleground state, meeting with those impacted by Hurricane Helene. These are very difficult times. And in a moment of crisis, I think that really does bring out the best of who we are. President Biden also touring the damage and pledging federal support. This natural disaster is incredibly consequential. While parts of the southeastern United States is in crisis mode, the Biden-Harris administration is also working to address escalating tensions overseas. Obviously, Iran has gone way out of, I mean, it's way off port. Israel vows to respond to Iran's missile attack. I think at this point, the Israelis don't want a peaceful solution. They want to punish the Iranians and punish them very severely. Developments in the Middle East were front and center during the first and only vice presidential debate. Donald Trump actually delivered stability in the world, and he did it by establishing effective deterrence. People were afraid of stepping out of line. A nearly 80-year-old Donald Trump talking about crowd sizes is not what we need in this moment. Both campaigns seeking to sway voters during this final stretch. I'm not really sure yet. I mean, I'm, I'm, I usually lean towards the Republican ticket. But, um, yeah, I could be persuaded. The U.S. response to natural disasters at home and challenges abroad could be deciding factors in November. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. And if you live in Worcester County, here's how you can help Hurricane Helene victims. Worcester County government is collecting donations of over-the-counter medical supplies and snack food items for people in North Carolina. Due to the lack of electricity and water, all snack food donations should be prepackaged and ready to eat. After about a year of preparation, Lored Health Center's mobile health unit is now on the road. The mobile health unit will provide primary care services across Sussex County. And those services include physical exams, COVID tests, vaccinations, urine tests, and pap smears. The mobile health unit will welcome new and existing patients and walk-in and appointments as well. It means a lot to me um, to bring, you know, people who can't come here to us or that don't have transportation or even just afraid um, to just come to Lored. Uh, it means a lot that we're actually going to them and that they are not, um, you know, just out in the community, unseen, unheard, that, you know, we're not forgetting about them. The Red Health Center hopes to see between 15 and 20 patients at every event with that new mobile health unit. New today, federal funding is heading toward Delaware to help combat the opioid crisis. Delaware's Division of Substance Abuse and Mental Health is set to receive nearly $40 million that will go toward prevention, harm reduction treatment, and recovery support services. Officials say this money will also boost resources to help people, families, and communities combat opioid and stimulant misuse. In Ocean View, the police department has a senior check program. This is for seniors who may suffer from loneliness, illness, or have no nearby family members. Coast TV talked to Ocean View Police about the program and how you can sign up. It's one call a day. We usually have them all called by noontime. And if we don't hear from them, either we'll call them back to check on them or we respond out to their house. And they can contact Sergeant Russell Carter here at the police station or just give us a call and one of us will actually come out to the house and help with the paperwork as well. You can visit coasttv.com for a full breakdown of this program. Still to come, a jump in hiring seen across the country. What experts say led to a rise in employment. And the forecast for the rest of the week could be described as, well, sunny side up. I'll explain what I mean by that in your full forecast. But first, a strike at ports stalls the flow of goods. What items will and won't be impacted? That's up next. 
Looking for a beautiful area rug that'll make your room come to life? Visit the Rug World at Johnny Janosik. Our rug experts and professional design team will help you find the perfect rug for your home. Choose from our exclusive selection of fine handmade area rugs from around the world in any size and any style at prices you can afford. Transform your room with the right rug from the Rug World at Johnny Janosik World of Furniture and Mattresses in Laurel, Dover, Wilmington, and Christiana. Farmers are superheroes, true conservationists. We are using soil health practices to help fight climate change. Soil health farmers are working today to protect tomorrow. Using regenerative agriculture and climate smart practices like no-till and cover crops to improve soil health. Healthy soils sequester carbon, improve water quality, and produce sustainable, nutrient-rich food. Soil health farmers are working today to keep Delmarva a beautiful place for generations to come. I would never take a tax credit that I wasn't entitled to. Angela Also Brooks took tax deductions she did not qualify for. Also Brooks improperly took advantage of tax breaks she did not qualify for. Also Brooks claimed a homestead tax break for a townhouse she rented. Also Brooks is accused of improperly claiming senior citizens tax breaks. She used multiple methods which she was not qualified for to save thousands of dollars. No, I don't. I don't believe I'm above the law. Maryland's future is responsible for the content of this advertising. Welcome to the brand new Bath by Spicer Brothers showroom. Experience the future of bathroom remodeling. Bath by Spicer Brothers is Delmarva's exclusive BCI Elite dealer, offering more selections, styles, and colors, including options like the laser etched tile pattern system. Made in the USA, built for beauty and performance, our baths are durable, mold resistant, and guaranteed for life. With no money down, no interest, and no payments until 2026, you have no reason to wait. Call Bath by Spicer Brothers today because you deserve the best. This is Coast TV News at 5. Automation and wages are at the heart of the strike by tens of thousands of members of the International Longshoremen's Association against ports on the nation's east and gulf coast. But with the strike stopping the flow of several goods at ports from Maine all the way to Texas, consumers want to know when it will start to impact them and their wallets. Karen Kafa is in Washington and has a look at the items that may get pricey if this strike stretches on. There's a big gap between demands of the International Longshoremen's Association and the latest offer from the United States Maritime Alliance or USMX, which represents the major shipping lines, all foreign owned and terminal operators and port authorities. At issue, wages and automation at the ports. They want to come into America and build fully automated terminals and get rid of American jobs. Good paying jobs that support families with medical, pensions, annuities and pay taxes. Some of the 14 ports involved, the massive port of New York and New Jersey, as well as Boston, Baltimore, and Charleston, South Carolina. I'm confident that everyone that is involved in that, on either end, are, are aware of it and did whatever they could, but we cannot settle the strike between the carriers and the union. Also, Wilmington, Delaware, which declares itself America's largest banana port. That means bananas could come up short at the grocery store. And even though domestic farmers grow cherries, certain berries, and other fruits, they can't meet all of the nation's demand. Without imports to boost supply, prices could push higher. Raw ingredients like sugar and cocoa imports also at risk, as well as imported chocolate and alcohol. The good news for holiday shoppers, things like apparel, toys, and other gifts don't have a shelf life like food imports and can park in a warehouse for months. So when retailers saw a potential strike on the horizon, they rushed to get products delivered before the strike began. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. As we take a look at the Bay forecast, you'll notice a very interesting pattern here. We go from 76 to 77 to, hmm. Let's check again, 75, 75, okay, that's more like it, but what's with this increasing temperature and moisture? Oh, I'll have the answer to that at Mystery Annual Full Forecast coming up. The floor is lava! When your floors start showing signs of wear and tear from all the fun and games, Carpet and Tile Mart makes it easy to afford and install new flooring within a week. Carpet and Tile Mart, available, affordable, at your service. 
Foul odors, discolored water, are you running out of hot water more quickly? These are all signs of sediment buildup in your water heater. And as the buildup becomes more severe, it can even cause a premature tank failure. Flushing the tank periodically can prevent these problems. FH Fur has you covered. Get a water heater flush for $49. That's right, a complete water heater flush for only $49. Act now and get a plumbing inspection free. 877-CALL-FUR FHFur.com Shop fabulous, fun fashion at Twyla Farrell's in Lewis. Discover stylish and comfortable clothing made from designers you know and love. From head to toe, you can complete your look at Twyla's. A large selection of fashionable shoes, including popular brands such as Piccolino's and Aote. And trendy winter jackets to keep you warm this winter. We believe in building lasting relationships and always offer honest fashion advice. Come visit us for a unique shopping experience. Shop fabulous, fun fashion at Twyla Farrell's in Lewis. Too many people think government doesn't respect them. I try to do things differently. I brought Democrats and Republicans together to pass paid leave because helping people care for their loved ones respects families. I helped raise the minimum wage because respecting workers means paying them a decent wage. And I will always defend Social Security and Medicare because I respect those are benefits that seniors have earned. I'm Sarah McBride. I approve this message because everyone deserves a government that respects them. Carpet and Tile Mart, we've got thousands of in-stock flooring solutions for every room. Now save up to 50% off, plus 0% financing up to 36 months. Hurry in before the sale is over. Only at Airbase Carpet and Tile Mart Flooring Supercenters. When choosing a granite countertop, choose one for real life and beauty. No matter what life throws at them, they'll look beautiful forever. Ancient Art Stone invites you to discover the affordability of granite and upgrade your home to the beautiful works of art from Ancient Art Stone. Centrally located in Milford, Delaware, serving all of Delmarva to make your dreams a reality. Visit us and allow our devoted professionals to craft, fabricate, and install a superior finished product that will transform your home into a work of art. We have a very interesting and compelling weather story to tell you tonight because we're going to start possibly going back to a summer like almost summer like pattern with increasing temperatures and increasing moisture without necessarily an increased chance of rain. I'll uh, state my case here in a second. First of all, our Hershey's exterior camera, we're starting to see breaks in the cloud cover right now. And in Ocean City, we're holding at 68 degrees, should drop to 65 with clearing skies. See that clearing pattern? A few more clouds as you go later into the night, fewer clouds we have. Today, we warmed to only 71 degrees. That's about three below the norm for this time of the year. So we were a skosh cooler than usual. We're holding in the 60s for the most part, with a few exceptions in Redden, Georgetown, and Seaford. But we're looking at pretty much in the upper 60s in most other locations, 70 degrees, by the way, in Salisbury right now. The winds are continuously moving out of the northeast, but they're going to shift a bit out of the east directly as we go into tomorrow. And that's going to be just enough of a change to push the temperatures up a couple of ticks or two. When I say ticks, I'm referring to Fahrenheit temperatures, actually. So we still have the coastal flood advisory in effect for bayside cities and, you know, basically locations that are close to water. Just and it's connected to, you know, the high tides going up and down. But we still have to watch out for that threat of flooding in Sussex. But not only there, Dorchester, Somerset, Wacomico, and then the most southern tip, Accomack, as well as Northampton, until Thursday morning. Now, we also have a concern for riptides right off of the coast force in North Ocean City, West Ocean City, Ocean City in general, all the way down towards Gulf Club Shores. And that's in Worcester until 8 o'clock. Now, in addition to that, we still have gusty winds until for Thursday along the entire shoreline because it's watching out for 25 mile per hour winds. So that tends to make the waves lap up on the shore a little bit aggressively. So we've got to be mindful of that, not go into a lax sense of uh, or a false sense of security. A cold front is gaining momentum as it swings towards us. But you know what? It's just not acting like a typical cold front creating an opportunity for thunderstorms, anything like that. This cold front, I guess, from a meteorological standpoint is. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's how my friends would describe that. So anyway, 
Let's take a look at your bonfire forecast. Looking for great opportunity. Winds are out of the east at 5 to 11 miles per hour, and temperatures will stay in the low 60s, so it's not a bad time to enjoy a bonfire. Just enough cool to make the fire fun instead of a necessity. 77, for example, to 75 is the expectation for tomorrow with a good, more, good deal of sunshine. 77 over towards the Cambridge area, and we're looking for 77 over towards uh, Snow Hill. For Thursday, we're looking at pretty much clearing skies. For Friday, it clears out and we'll push right back into the 70s once again. And as we go up along the coast, you'll notice we're going, we're staying in the 70s and we're either staying the same or we're going up a temperature or two by the time we get to Saturday. So we're going to get up to 78 degrees for the high in Lewis, for example. That's that summer-like surprise, sunny side up. See, our underlying motif ties into the entire forecast. Here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling Extended Forecast. You know what? By the time we get to Saturday and Monday, we might actually, Christina, feel muggy. Oh, all right. Well, look out for that. Thanks, Paul. Well, coming up today on DSN, your game of the night, live at 6 p.m., James M. Bennett will face off against Pokemoke in field hockey. Then at 8 p.m., you can catch an episode of Watch Del Mar into the trenches. And at 10.30, it's the final score. Over on the DSN Plus app, your game of the night we just mentioned at 6 p.m., but also at that time, an app exclusive. James M. Bennett will take on Mar Mardella in girls soccer. And at 5.30, another app exclusive, St. George's Tech, will play Odessa in volleyball. It's hard to believe, but the holiday season will be here before we know it, and that means the return of Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. Through generous donations, we do our best to make sure every child has a present to open Christmas morning. We do that by supporting charities that handpick families in need. We're accept accepting funding applications from those nonprofits through October 18th. We salute Justin Givens. Justin Givens serves as a 911 operator and trainer at the Sussex County Emergency Operations Center, carrying on a proud family tradition in emergency services. His family's roots run deep in the community, with his father and brother having served in the Laurel Fire Department and his mother as an ambulance associate. When he's not guiding emergency responses or mentoring new operators, Justin enjoys music, golfing, and boating. We salute Justin for his dedication to public safety and his ongoing commitment to serving and protecting his community. Spicer Brothers and Coast TV are honoring military persons and first responders serving Delmarva. If you have a family member, friend, or community member that you would like to nominate for a Coast TV salute, go to CoastTVSalutes.com. There's still lots of great weather left to enjoy a new deck and a vacation. With Paul Davis, you can have both. Our composite decking looks great. It won't fade, curl, or rot. So it's maintenance free and comes with our lifetime warranty. Paul Davis will bring the showroom to you, take measurements, and give you a down to the penny price that same day. And that vacation? We'll give you that too. Pay nothing for 12 months and get a luxury vacation for two extended only through October. Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Weather is sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration, your storm damage experts, here to help now. Be charmed by Lewis. Visit our unique shops and restaurants. Make the season unforgettable with a stunning gift from Conversation Piece Jewelers. From engagements to milestones, every piece tells a story. Fill a Sorrento at five points. Join us for our fall and winter specials. Mambo Italiano, that's a nice. Beautiful Nassau Valley Vineyards. The perfect place for tours, tastings, and impeccable events making award-winning Delaware wines for 31 years. Lots to do and see. In Lewis. This is my legacy. The Toyota RAV4 Legacy is earned as the best-selling SUV in America. Designed with the capabilities and comfort to tame the trail or road. Right now, get a RAV4 with low 3.99% APR. This is my legacy. Toyota, let's go places. Back pain, trouble sleeping, slowing down. Reduce stress by 22% with hydrotherapy. Lessening pain and improving sleep. At Delaware Hot Tub Company, we have saltwater hot tubs to give you these relaxing health benefits. A simpler, cleaner way to relax using fewer chemicals and easier to maintain too. Why stress when you can relax? Hot tubs, hotter prices at Delaware Hot Tub Company in Millsboro and Lewis. Ask about 0% financing. 
Son, your house looks and smells great. I finally took your advice, Dad. Dry Zone was professional, fast, and reasonably priced. Just like I said. Yes, Dad. They fixed up our crawl space, so no more buckling, cracking, or musty odors. Like I said. Yes, Dad. Like you said. Dry Zone. They're the oldest and the best. Just like you, Dad. Protect your largest investment with Delmarva's local choice. Dry Zone. The oldest and the best. Brought to you by Dry Zone, your local crawl space experts. Some positive news in the business sector. Hiring in the U.S. jumped more than expected last month. Private sector employment gains beat economist expectations with an estimated 143,000 jobs added in September. It's also marked a rebound from the month prior when 103,000 jobs were added. The gains were widespread across major industries. Only the tech-heavy information sector posted losses. Millions of students across the country cannot afford college without financial aid. And on Tuesday, the Department of Education began testing a new version of critical financial aid forms known as FAFSA. When the department tried to revamp its form last year, it caused more problems. So some, some students did not get the aid they needed in time for this current academic year. So now the department is trying again. It will conduct testing on the 2025-2026 form to make sure it works properly before the department makes it public in December. New today, Buffalo Bills linebacker Vaughn Miller has been suspended for four games without pay for violating the NFL's policy, the personal conduct policy. The league Tuesday announced, but it did not elaborate on the reason for Miller's suspension. It does, however, come after allegations of a domestic dispute in Dallas, Texas last year. The two-time Super Bowl champion has denied those allegations. Coming up, why scientists say the famous towering Mount Everest has experienced a growth spurt. Stay with us on Coast TV News at 5. 18 years ago, we founded Community Bank Delaware with the goal of providing high-quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County, and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware, where community matters. Preston Ford would like to express our gratitude to the individuals in our community who dedicate their life to serving, helping others, and making our world a safer and better place. We want to take a moment to thank our amazing first responders who put their lives at risk every day to keep us safe. We admire your bravery and selflessness. We appreciate your commitment and sacrifices. We believe those who go above and beyond deserve to be recognized. Thank you for all that you do. Delaware Electric Cooperative is committed to helping the communities that we are proud to power. We offer the lowest electric rates in the state and give millions of dollars in rebates to members during the holiday season. Each year, we offer hundreds of thousands of dollars in funding to local nonprofits. Safety programs teach students how to be safe around electrical equipment. And through educational opportunities and scholarships, we are empowering the next generation of co-op members. DEC is proud to keep the lights on, but prouder still to invest in the communities we serve. At Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care, and women's health services, to orthopedics, gastroenterology, and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital. It's a prosecutor's job to help keep families safe. And as state's attorney, I did so without apology because I believe anyone who commits a heinous crime or anyone who harms a child must be held accountable. I worked with law enforcement and cut violent crime by 50%. And as county executive made investments to recruit and train more officers. I'm Angela Also Brooks, and I'm running for Senate because I never back down from tough jobs. That's why I approve this message. Listen to this. One of Earth's tallest mountains, Mount Everest, keeps growing taller. Recent measurements showed that Everest was growing at a rate of about two millimeters per year rather than the expected one millimeter per year. 
A geological event 89,000 years ago caused erosion in nearby valleys, lifting Everest and other peaks by at least 49 feet. That must be really one long tape measure. <laughs> anyway, okay, so our coastal flood advisory is in effect for us throughout Dorchester, Somerset, Wacomico, watching out for those living in Bayside cities, uh, and that's going to stay in effect for us in Ackermatt. We're also concerned about gusty winds along the shore. Keep up with your forecast by calling our weather line, sponsored by Baird Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. And finally, here's a look at your exclusive Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling 10-Day Forecast. Well, thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition is up next. And we'll see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great evening.